Hello, OKCPS families. My name is Courtney Morton, and I am with the district's communications team. First, I want to apologize for any misunderstanding that occurred regarding our contact tracing process for this school year. It's no surprise that the pandemic has created an ever-changing situation, but I want you to know that OKCPS is doing everything we can to keep you updated as all of these things continue to change. We've made a few updates to our COVID-19 safety plan since the plan was initially released back in July, specifically to our daily self-screening section and the incident reporting and response protocol section. So I wanted to go over a couple of those changes with you so that you can better understand how things are gonna work for this school year. OKCPS will now recommend that close contacts who are not symptomatic stay home and self-monitor for symptoms, whereas before this was required. While we cannot make anyone stay home, it will be highly recommended that anyone identified as a close contact stay home and self-monitor for symptoms. All positive cases will still be required to stay home in accordance with the CDC guidance. There has been no change to that portion of our protocol. Now for those who are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, we will ask that they stay home and get tested for COVID-19. Regardless of their COVID-19 test results, if that staff member or student has a fever or other symptoms, just like before the pandemic, they will be asked to stay home. Sick individuals will be required to stay home until they are fever-free, without fever-reducing medications, and symptoms have subsided. And as a quick reminder, while OKCPS cannot mandate masks be worn in our schools, science tells us that wearing a mask in the school setting is one of the best ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19. OKCPS asks our staff, students, and visitors to follow the latest guidance from the CDC, which was updated this week on August 4th, which recommends universal indoor masking, regardless if you're vaccinated or not. So now I realize this is a lot of information, but you can reference everything that I just told you on our website by visiting www.okcps.org slash COVID-19. And as one final reminder from Dr. McDaniel's message yesterday, it is absolutely critical that our students remain in the classroom and we plan to do everything possible to keep our students and staff safe. Our priority is to keep school in session because we know our students learn better when learning can take place face to face. So we are asking that staff, families, and our community join us in prioritizing three things. If we will wear masks, get vaccinated, and quarantine appropriately, we will give ourselves the very best chance to keep our kids healthy and in our buildings. Ultimately, people do have the choice, but we are asking that masks be worn in schools, staff and students be vaccinated who are eligible, and to stay home if you are exposed to COVID-19. Let's work together to have a great school year, and we thank you for your continued support of OKCPS.